what else is there to say at this point? I, I'm just thinking to myself, what else can I possibly say? I have said everything I've wanted to say about this team for the last few weeks. I don't know if there's anything more to add. But here I am, and here you are, watching another video of me ranting, so I've got to come up with something. Really, I'm scratching my head around this. Me and MMI Recaps, uh, Derek, we were talking tonight during the game, and we were both just left with no words. We don't know what else to say. We don't know what's... There's nothing left. This team has crushed me, broken me, destroyed me. This team has given me a midlife crisis at age 24. I've, I have spent the last few months wondering, and you guys have heard me talk about it before, but what am I doing with my life? Why am I wasting my life? I have one life. I, have, I, I am a young man. I am a, I am a single young man. You know, ladies out there, hello. I am somebody who is wants to spend time in the world. I want to enjoy myself. I want to you know, go talk to people, be friends with people. And this is what I'm doing every night. Not, you know, you know, usually, right now I'm on vacation, so I guess it's a little different. But usually on most nights, I am watching this. I am watching this trash. I am watching this triple A team disguised as the New York Yankees every single night. And it has made me question my desire to do what I'm doing because this cannot be a healthy way to live. I cannot spend every night watching this. I cannot spend every night with no offense at all. Yet another eight innings in, two hits. Three times we had runners in scoring position and we got nothing out of it. The, the bats tonight weren't even bad. They were non-competitive. I mean, Corey Kluber looked unstoppable tonight, but of course it was the, the Yankees. It's this freaking Yankee team that is giving them nothing. I am now really concerned about Judge even getting to 60. I'm now, because the Yankees are so bad, I think he's going to go down with the ship. I think the Yankees are, I think he's not going to get to 60 home runs. I think 55, 56 maybe, but I think because the rest of the Yankees offense is so bad, he's just going to just sail right down with them. He's going to be, an, I, I'm really worried about that. It was only him and, and Stanton were the only ones that hit tonight. And of course, nothing came out of it because it's the freaking Yankees. I mean, when did those hits even come? I'm trying I'm trying to look at them. This game was so boring. So it was a single in the first inning. We had, all right, Judge struck out on top of the first. LeMahieu got to first on an error by Diaz. Singles, uh, Stanton gets the uh, single. So it's LeMahieu at third and Stanton at second or first. And then Stanton's out on a run of choice. And then Donaldson grounds out. And then we don't get another hit until the sixth. And after Hicks gets the first on an error. So that's the only, only times we had people in base in scoring position was because of errors. That's how bad we were. And then Judge singles. We have runners on second and first. LeMahieu sh strikes out. Stanton grounds out. And that's it. That's it. And I'm going to pretty be pretty sure nothing's going to happen in the ninth. Because nothing ever happens in the ninth for the Yankees. And you look up and down the lineup. All right. We got Cabrera in here. Oh, you know, we got Cabrera and Peraza. The y Yankees listen to us tonight. All right. We'll get those guys in. Nothing tonight. And I can't really blame them. I can't really blame Peraza. You know, it's, he's young. But he couldn't, unfortunately, bring any life into it. And neither could Cabrera. Then you, I mean, another 0 for 3 night from Aaron Hicks. What a shock. Another 0 for 3 night from Josh Donaldson. What a shock. Another 0 for 3 night from Glaber Torres. What a freaking shock! <laughs> the only surprise was that IKF wasn't here. Then we would have had the 4 out of 4 of, of garbage. We would have had, we had the 3 Stooges tonight. It's 4 Stooges, but we had the 3 Stooges tonight being as pathetic as they usually are. DJ, who has been bad as of late. Uh, Trevino has also been terrible. It's... Uh, so that's where we're at. That's where the lead is now four. The lead is now freaking four. And at this point, I am I'm numb to the pain. I'm completely numb to the pain. I, four and look out, folks. The Orioles are coming. The Blue Jays are coming. The Orioles have won three in a row. The Blue Jays have won six and four in the last ten. We are not only looking at the Yankees. If the Yankees collapse, keeps going like this. We are looking at the Yankees possibly because the Blue Jays are the the third wildcard team right now. We're possibly looking at the Yankees missing the playoffs altogether. Do not be surprised. It could happen. It could very well happen. We're going to be six and a half up of Toronto. Do not be surprised. And if Toronto wins tonight, they're tied right now on the bottom of the fifth. It could be six. Do not be surprised if, if we miss. Because there's, there, there's nothing on the horizon. Who is coming back? Nestor? That's not going to help the offense. Who is going to come back that's going to fix this team? It's going to turn everything around. When is, when is everything going to change? How much longer am I going to have to watch this and waste my life? I don't want to do this anymore! I am a broken, broken man! Apologies to my neighbor here at the hotel who is probably calling uh, the lobby right now saying that the man next to them is having a mental breakdown. But please, they'll understand when I tell them I'm a Yankees fan. So that's where we're at right now. The Yankees are garbage. My life. I enjoy doing this channel. I enjoy talking to you. But watching this team is not fun. There's got to be better things to do for money. There has to be a better way to live your life than 
you know, become than watch the Yankees every single night. Maybe I'll become a stripper. No, no, I'll save that for when I'm doing real estate. So anyway, I'm just I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking out loud. I'm thinking out what, what should I do because this is not enjoyable. As I've mentioned many times, this is not fun anymore. It's fun talking to you people. It's fun interacting with Yankee fans. It's fun breaking bringing up you know everything and it's fun it's, it's it's sometimes fun seeing your reactions to these that's sometimes fun but watching the yankees on a daily basis watching the yankees on a nightly basis watching the yankees look just i'm running out of superlatives i need another one just bad i'll just say bad looking like a train wreck looking like a drug addict looking like the yankees are the baseball equivalent right now of a crack house the yankees right now are the baseball equivalent of a drunk driver. The Yankees are the baseball... Actually, that's unfair because a drunk driver actually does something. The Yankees do nothing. The Yankees are the baseball equivalent of a, a coffin. There's, there's nothing going on right now. The Yankees are the baseball equivalent of death. Nothing. No pulse. Nothing. No heart. Everything is just... It's dead. There's nothing pulling this team. There's nothing motivating this team. There's nothing inspiring this team. Nobody is giving this team... And thinking back to it, I was looking at Yankees right today trying to figure out when it all started to turn around for the Yankees, when they started to fall apart. There were a couple people pointed out the Astros series, the Astros no-hitter, a couple of things. But people pointed out the Monty trade. That may have completely disrupted. I, I think Monty was a big glue guy. Maybe I was wrong about Because I thought the Yankees hated Monty because they didn't score from him. But it, looking back on it, it seems like Monty was loving that clubhouse because they have not been the same. Ever since then, it just seems like he was a glue guy. And they've completely, uh, apart from the product, product productivity that you miss of Monty, he, they've, the team has looked like for since then. So maybe, maybe that's it. Maybe Monty's the problem. There's a hundred problems here I could point out too. That was ever since maybe the Red Series where they looked bad against Cincinnati, uh, but they looked like they looked completely ineffective against one of the worst teams in baseball. Maybe that was it. Whatever, whatever it is, whenever this started, it has been a nightmare for a month now, and we are one game away from the dreaded sweep, which we deserve. I'm telling you, we deserve a sweep here. We deserve nothing more than to get swept. We deserve to miss the playoffs. At this point, I'd almost welcome getting knocked out of the playoffs, getting eliminated before the playoffs. I know it doesn't make me a Yankee fan, but I would almost welcome that because at least the season would be over quicker. And I don't want to suffer through an October where I know we're not going to win a championship. So just put us out of our misery, miss the playoffs, and let me enjoy the rest of October. Please. I need something else to do with my life. My life is hell. My life is torture. I know the people watching this probably don't care, but please understand this is not fun. All you people out there that have jobs that don't require them watching the Yankees, good for you. Enjoy your life. You don't have to suffer every night. You don't have to be a person who has to watch just pure death on your television night after night after night. I swear, if, you, if you're if you cleaning toilets, that's a better job for you right now. I swear, if, if you're working in a funeral home, it's probably better for you right now. That's almost the equivalent of being a Yankee fan. So be thankful for your job today. Be thankful you don't have my job. I don't want you to feel sorry for me. I don't want you to feel bad for me. I just want you to understand. And I, also, I just want you to watch the video. That's all I want you to watch. But I just want you to understand that this has not been fun. This is torture. The Yankees sucked again tonight. The Yankees have sucked for a month. The Yankees are garbage. They're a waste of time. They're a waste of space. They're a waste of energy. And I can't believe that there's a month left in the season because it just feels like this team is going nowhere. And I'm so angry that I have to watch this every night. So that's all I really have to say. can't believe I spoke for eight and a half minutes on. So I guess I did find something to say after eight and a half minutes. Just talking about how much I hate my life. I don't know. I don't know. I got nothing left. I'll just sign off now. I'll see you guys tomorrow because I don't know why. Maybe I won't even do a video tomorrow. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll just... No, nah, no. Nah. I got nothing better to do. That's a sad statement. Bye.